Pod in the City is a Sex in the City podcast and thus contains adult themes and explicit content. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to Pod in the City. I'm Amanda. And I'm John. We're two besties who bonded over sex in the city in college. And now, 20 years later, we're reliving it like it's our very first time. <laughs> Y'all, I can't even tell you how many how long that just took. To um, oh, Amanda's now on mute to choreograph and instigate in, in, in and to what the we're good. Oh dear God, what that oh. was rough because whoa, I mirror my my own camera, so when I go a certain way, it like it's opposite, and it was just a mess. Like, I can't see what you guys are seeing. We're so, down to it was down to me being like, okay, what direction are you moving now? And then he started gaslighting me. I think like, she's confused, y'all. She, said she smoked real green marijuana for the first time in eight years today. And um it, yeah, it hit me hard. I was like, oh it yeah, done messed that's this what that uh, like. It hits you way quicker and way harder. Woo! Anyway, um, I'm glad that fucked up our professionalism because technically we're supposed to start like this. Sex in the City episode, or se- you got <laughs> Great, this, I've already girl. fucked it up. Sex in the City, season one, episode 11, The Drought. An incident prompts Carrie to believe she and Mr. Big will never share a bed again, and Samantha craves old-fashioned sex. So just sex at all. I mean, yeah, she doesn't want to keep edging and doing whatever this dumb... Yeah, this Yogi's guy sucks, doing. ew. Go, who, go back to Brooklyn. Who wants to, like, I don't get that. Uh, okay, we'll get into it. So is there any special, like, Sex in the City tea this week? I don't know. Is there? I don't think so. I don't think so. So here's what you guys need to do. First of all, every Monday, 3.30 Mountain Standard Time. And if you live in Arizona, now that's different for you guys. Yes. If you're in Arizona, it's actually at 2.30. Okay. So I'm an Arizona person. It is 2.30 here. Everyone did get pretty messed up yesterday about that. We're doing some lives over on our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash at pod and the city and... If you so want, if you want to watch us, this video is on there too, technically, right, Amanda? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Did you starting. see what's happening on the screen right there? No. Okay, we went full Elisa Lamb from what I could see. We went, we both were like, oh, really? Yeah, but then it just caught up. But you weren't seeing that? No. I hope everyone else could see it because we were literally <laughs> Elisa Lamb in the elevator. Like, I saw a, a thing about a conspiracy theory with Elisa Lamb and how this, you know, there was a tuberculosis breakout or whatever. Yeah, and it was Lamb Elisa was the test. Right? (laughs) I knew that. Isn't that weird? Yeah, no, the whole thing is really weird. Yeah, I think it's so, uh, I can't really get into too far into it because it just creeps me out. So, um, so there isn't any sex in the city news. Yes, but please go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, I'd ask for you guys to give us ratings, but please try and give us five star ratings and please don't yeah. judge us too hard. If you would like to email us at patcpod at gmail.com, send us whatever you'd like there. And we're trying to get some uh, like real life oh, sex to one. stories one. Uh, to share. At the end of our podcast each week, we're, we've been sharing some real life sex stories and they've been pretty fun and funny. We're no judgment. Um, we're oh, all no, love all. here, baby. Um, we've had plenty of fucking gross ass sex shit. <laughs> and if you've been oh, yeah. listening, you've heard some of it already. So um, email us those stories. We'd love to hear. Yeah, I have our one for. Um, I, I just picked one for for later because I'm glad that you thought of that. I, I do fun. also want to mention. Um, I re-listened to us last week, and I think I said the word Patreon close to. <laughs> I don't know, 500 times. Um, So I'm going to really be, there's some things I'm going to be, you know, I like to reflect. 
I like to, you know, um, see what I should adjust. So I'm going to not say it a million times. I'm going to drop it here at the beginning, babies. Please, yeah, when, um, when me and Jody got approved for super stickers and then we opened up a PayPal account, I like, I think maybe four times in the three hours, I mentioned like, hey, you guys can tip us if you want. Uh -huh. And oh, was there a Reddit thread about it? <gasps> Amanda is really? just so money hungry. And I'm like, well, yeah. Well, um, why do you the think truth we're is... Like this podcast technically is free. So like, yeah. so you don't for me, I follow plenty of Patreon, people's Patreons. And I look at it more like I'm donating to help them keep doing their shows and for something I listen to, even if I don't really get a benefit. But luckily for y'all, if you join our Patreon, you do get a benefit. And that benefit is that we do, we do like extra episodes over there each week. This week we're doing... Um, an episode of the Golden Girls. And we do a little bit of like a weekly mixer in there where we follow, um, we talk about, you know, other parts of our lives. Yeah. It's about half an hour and then we get into the you know nitty gritty. We figure that if you're over there on our Patreon, you're willing to listen to our bullshit. So that's how we, we play a game. Amanda, I think it's like, I think her pre-roll might have been laced. I think. <laughs> Yes, because it's, it's doing it again. I'm like behind. I can, you are kind of behind, but mine for some reason looks clear, but it might not be so. Clear. Okay. Anyway, y'all, if you are tuning in, we love you. Um, do all the shit. Um, and now let's get to this baby. All right. So this episode, Amanda, do you, do you remember this one? Oh yeah, I remember this one so well. I remember I thinking so. this was very funny. And I remember thinking that Big was really likable in here. He was. You know, there's this there there's already been a um like numerous or like multiple reoccurrences of him and Carrie having these conversations where they're like, you know, I'm going to sound dumb here, but are they making metaphors or they're like paralleling themselves to like making pasta or like in this episode yeah. it was um what was it uh oh her painting yeah her fucking cabinets <laughs> yeah. that as a homeowner that sent me over the edge more than anything else i'll say is it just doesn't work like that babes it just doesn't work like really that. like i just repainted my whole kitchen you just one night were like, you know what? I'm going to repaint my cabinets. Did you paint the cabinets? I did paint the cabinets, but my my aunt owns this townhouse and I like I like asked her. And I I I just repainted them like white. Okay, but that that took some work, didn't it? Yeah, but she painted like the whole rest of my house for me, so I decided to uh, do well, the uh, Oh yeah, 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 but I'm struggling to believe that Carrie Bradshaw just decided she's thing. gonna paint her I don't think cabinets. Carrie Bradshaw yeah. would I think like a really like somebody who like like who like gets hyper focused on shit like I would mm -hmm. totally do this it wouldn't be in the daytime though oh no 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 this starts at about 3 30 in the morning <laughs> <laughs> this begins at 3 30 in the morning when the manic episode starts <laughs> yeah, is really when you get going. When it sets in <laughs> you're like oh yeah it's time it's time baby <laughs> I'm like googling like a 24-hour hardware store <laughs> Oh my god. I totally would do oh that. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I guess this whole episode really is about like how what it's like to be without sex, wanting sex, what sex, what how important is sex? Right? And how like what's the amount the perfect amount of sex to be normal? Which yeah. I don't think they're I don't think they're I think what who said it? Charlotte said like it's different. It's whatever every couple, whatever every couple like wants. Yeah. If you're both sex maniacs and they're probably doing it way more than like, you know, a couple who's been married 40 years. Yeah. And I guess that is true. Like I am, I'm not a sex maniac, but I am a somewhat of a stereotypical gay man. Sorry, other gays, but I like to have sex and I want to have sex. So I, I struggle sometimes to put myself in the shoes of like couples that are like, Oh, you know, we haven't had sex in a while, but it's all right. I'm like, you aren't wanting to fuck every day. I don't quite. Yeah. I'll go into like spurts. 
And like, so that's why, that's why I just think that I'm pretty undateable because this has happened in every relationship where I'm so horned up for like uh -huh. about a year. And then I just completely lose it. That's happened for every single person I've ever dated, no matter how hot they are, how good they are in bed. I just like, I'm like, I just, I'm over it now for a couple of years. Like, I just kind of need, like, it, it yeah. all, so I'm waiting for my next spurt to come up. But let me give you a little, uh, a little idea spurt. of why maybe like, got, like guys maybe like having sex more than okay. girls. Because you Thanks guys can listen. just, you guys can just like pound your like package uh -huh. into something. Whereas we have to like take something. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. So it's for just sure. like, we're. It's it's much harder for us to kind of like want. Yeah, to, it depends on if you have a headache. Because like, if I had a headache, I could like mm. pound myself into something for a while. But like, if oh, you just you ache, have a you feel sick. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you can almost just lay back, and someone you could do. You can literally with a dick, you could just do nothing. Right, right. But and like, I guess it. I guess I could do that as a woman too. But it's like no, yeah, but you're just eight and stuff. It is true, you're actually doing work by taking it. The guy just yeah. laying there giving his dick away is actually receiving pleasure. Exactly. So I think that might be like what a lot of the difference is. If I was a guy, I probably would be doing it all the time. Uh, Probably. Yeah, I, mean, I would love that. I, I mean, so the, uh, so speaking of, New York City is all about sex. People getting it, people trying to get it, and people who can't get it. No wonder the city never sleeps. It's too busy trying to get laid. But if you ever actually do manage to get someone in bed, the real fun begins. And we see Carrie and Big eating ice cream in bed, and we find out that they have been, like, actually sleeping together. Like, not yeah. just having sex and, you know, but, like, you know, she stays over and... I will say and that then... I do, I do kind of miss sleeping with people, although I kind of also, like, now that I sleep alone like, just with my pets mm -hmm. i like can't imagine having like a whole other person in there with me yeah i haven't gone really long spans of time sleeping in a bed with someone every single night like that yeah, I know. <laughs> i've never lived it with with someone i was dating even so yeah but i like like i like being in bed with someone and yeah, i like the polo talk after i don't like the sleeping with them because because i'm up all night See, I like to have sex. Right. While we're off, like, change the bedding or whatever. Get a little dubs, maybe. Eat something, like, have a snack, you know. That's cute, maybe yeah. Watch a movie and then, like, then, like, feel clean and cute and then cuddle. I don't okay. like the idea of, like, some people have sex, get jizz all over them, and then they go to sleep. Oh, no. I'm in the bathroom seconds after it, after this, the moment. No. <laughs> yeah. No. I have, like, one foot off the bed, like, while he's still climaxing. How? Um, can you put our names back up here, champ? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did. Um, How did you do that? Again, it, it's up here in the show. It's under the themes. Anyway, so, I'm yeah, I took that off because in our whole 25-minute uh, debacle of... <laughs> Like, <laughs> like this way, this exposing way, this, ourselves this. behind the <laughs> thing. Um, we're working on you guys. We're learning, and guess what? Next week, it's the final episode of season one. And then you know what's coming? What? And just like that. Oh my god. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to just find a um icon really quickly but jen from real housewives recaps we all know her she's where i first um learned about youtube podcasts at all because i was watching mm. and just like that and it was about three episodes in and i was like this show is got garbage and i just googled something on youtube and then this podcast came up and she is so funny and um wait where are you there you are. Uh, she's super funny, and she does. She did. She recapped all the shows, and she would just put up pictures and just snark on everything. So she's gonna come on, and um, so subscribe to her. She's super I can't famous. wait. I can't she's great. Wait. She's really excited too. So yeah, if you guys if you guys didn't know, next week we are gonna have a guest for our final episode of the season, and then after that, we're getting into the first season of the titular classic that it will go down in in i mean why it hasn't won every show. emmy yet 
I'm not sure. I want it like but. I was. Well, I've been watching the, like I at least watched the first three or four episodes, and I don't think Che Diaz doesn't at least have one hand in a pocket at all times. That's a oh character God. choice, John. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, no. But Jen okay. knows that you haven't seen it yet, so she's like, "Oh, I'll definitely help. Uh, I'll help him. I'll help him prep. <laughs> I'll help you prepare him." <laughs> <laughs> well, tune in for that, y'all. All right, so now. So they're eating the ice cream in bed, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like this other moment. And guess what? This terrible, the most horrible thing ever happens. <laughs> Carrie farts in bed. It's a really, like, I feel like they must, I feel like they had Sarah Jessica Parker standing by a soundboard and she just like listened to different farts and she got to choose one. Cause the fart that oh, was I chosen. I thought you were going to say she recorded her. Oh life. no, I was can like, you what? imagine? <laughs> They're like, no. Here, can you give us a few? Can you give us a few options? No, because um, she the, the fart see. that's uh, used yeah. is like it's almost like a cute fart. It's like the cutest fart you could like possibly pick. I would have respected it more if she picked like a real like a juicy. Well, yeah. an Amanda, an Amanda <laughs> style yeah. fart. Yeah. Oh yeah. We all know. We all know about that. I'm surprised they never did an welcome. episode about queefing on uh, Sex in the City. I'm surprised that because that they never really did funny. any little moment. I swear, there has. Mm. I don't think I'm sure I would have remembered that. Like I would have wanted to hear it though, like really, oh. like show like this oh, situation. My All right. So <laughs> anyway, they should do so, it. So basically, this whole fart thing now goes out through this entire episode. Carrie basically can't stop thinking about it, and and she meets up with Big, and they're having Chinese food, which looked. So good. Chinese Again, food always, always looks good on TV. Always. Oh, wait, I want to say when when she farts, I mean, uh -huh. mortifying, obviously. Just, yeah. But it, it's also a good first step. You have to fart in front of each other at some point. Like you have to. And then at a certain point, it just becomes funny. I think one of the hardest times I've ever I don't laughed, find farts funny. Oh my like, god. One of the all. hardest times I, one of the only times I ever laughed till like, I cried was we were I was laying in bed with Brad and he just put one foot fully one leg fully straight up and let out the most hilarious fart and like we both laughed for like at least like i was crying i couldn't get my shits together like i, I felt like i, needed to I could see that being funny but at the same time i would be like <laughs> that doesn't make me horny for you oh for but, sure but okay but so he she farts but and then he he goes was that you and he laughs so at least he laughed like i feel like if the guy laughs then like it's like whoo okay and then she goes think, under the covers and he goes, I think you might be worse under there, which is a funny joke. It is. I think he's hard to read though. I don't think that he give like he puts it all out there. Um, but he was I, laughing though. I agree. I agree. I think the, the thing is though, that Carrie and him are very different. She like puts everything out there to the point where it's so fucking annoying. Yeah. And yeah. then he doesn't put enough out there. And so they, they end up having these times, like, they've already had it, multiple episodes, where they have to meet in the middle of who they are, really. Yeah. Which kind of happens in this, like, too. Yeah. Um, well, he, he gives her, like, an inch here. It's well, like, oh, I'm going to come to your apartment. She's like, uh, she's like, oh, my God. She's, so she's basically trying, actually, to um, avoid talking about the fart. Yeah. I have to remember that I'm being recorded. <laughs> Because I'm over here like, and no, then fine. she's you like, uh, oh my goodness. Well, and then um, she, so she's basically trying to avoid it. She's like saying they can do all these things. She gets up to go get something. And then he puts a whoopee cushion on her chair, which was really, I mean, that part was right cute. there. He's obviously fine with it. Yeah. And their reactions were very genuine seeming. Like I they, think they both were, really were like really laugh, like, like laughing, laughing, which. I think they, you know, it, it goes back to, they have really great chemistry. Yeah. They really do. I think they and, did have a um, friendship. They must. He's, I mean, I know that he's a dick to like most women, but like Sarah Jessica is his she's superior. Kind of a, I think she's also kind of a dick to most women too. <laughs> I think she, well, but Don't she hate plays us, really nice. Don't hate she, us. She, like, do you think Drew Barrymore might be a dick in real life? I'll tell you. These clips that I'm seeing of Drew Barrymore on her talk show where she is six inches and from someone I feel like, I feel like, and the person and the person's like just telling a story about their life and she's like no. oh my god oh my god oh my god like, can you tell me like what it is no, and it's like girl this is a talk show 
I don't want a zoomed in shot of two people's faces three inches from up. It's uncomfortable. And you can yeah. tell the guests are like, I'm uh -huh. just talking about my diaper brand or whatever. Did we the talk about this? Did you see the one with her and Dylan Mulvaney? Uh, no. Oh, it's so cringy. I'll send you a clip. They are all over each other. At one point, they both like go down to their knees on the floor and are like holding each other. I know I love what Dylan Mulvaney does and yeah. stands for and but I find Dylan Mulvaney Is it a bit much now cringy to yeah begin no, with. I, I I agree I also I felt the same trajectory I, I'm tired I'm now I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get on one here but I'm tired of people like that being like play like she like Dylan Mulvaney performed at like I don't know the Lincoln Center I know I saw that a crazy wild thing and I'm like this person is not good yeah, like what? Jed. Like, I guess they were on Broadway. Well, in Book of Mormon, which uh, any twink could be in Book of Mormon. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> but now I'm like, can't we get like really talented people? Like, I know five, I, I could name 10 better singers and performers than Dylan Mulvaney. Just because you have people that follow you on TikTok doesn't mean you need anything. You know, I was getting pissed off about that shit at the Oscars, too. I'm like, what has the Oscars really become? The people that are at the Oscars. Yeah, I just learned. Um, Why are you there? You're yeah, and it's just, it, uh, now that you brought it up about all the Nepo babies, it's becoming more and more, like, annoying to me. And you know what I just learned, like, 10 minutes yeah. before we started recording? Like, I was just listening to Doughboys, and they mentioned mm -hmm. that Rachel Brosnahan, who I can't and um oh, she's a nepo really? baby yeah you don't like her at all i can't stand her in marvelous mrs mazel i've never seen her in anything else oh okay i'm thinking of someone different <laughs> someone completely who are you thinking different. okay <laughs> the girl who was in um shiva baby and then she was in that bodies 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 movie and she was in something <laughs> else I like her. I think she's really funny. She was in Bottoms, too. Did you see Bottoms? Oh, this girl. Yeah, I know. I like her. She's fun. Rachel, she's really Rachel funny. Rachel Sennett is her name. Oh, Rachel Sennett. I think she might be a Nepo baby, though, too. So, yeah. I think the Nepo baby thing has is, is been pissing me off lately, too. So. Well, now, now you brought it to all of our attention. Now we're I'm going to say Patreon on. one more time, because I do have a slight rant if you want to Go subscribe to our Patreon, patreon.com slash pod in the city. I got a rant for you that I'm, it's in, it's like loaded, locked and loaded. Do you want to like, say it now or do you want to wait until Patreon? Oh no, I'm, I'm, that's going to be my, one of my topics that I'm going to gotcha. discuss in okay. our little mixer. All right. I'm going to tell a story about when this girl was a total cunt to me yesterday. Ooh, so, yeah. I love that. All right. Anyway, um, Dude, we got so. <laughs> Sorry, you were Linda. you were like actually frozen right now, so I thought that you. I'm just frozen. Froze. You're like going Elisa Lamb. Oh no! Just... No, now you're back. It's Linda, I'm sorry. We have no control over this, Linda. I'm trying. Well, I, I, we do have control over not talking for 20 minutes about whatever. Yeah. We just went on a random tangent. Anyway, she farts in the bed. They do the whoopee cushion. They have great chemistry now. Carrie says, there's a moment in every relationship where romance gives way to reality. And I can get, I get, I get that. So Big is, so basically they, they start having these night, like it starts where Big is like, I'm exhausted. He doesn't fuck her. So she <laughs> wants this. <laughs> is that too? No, it was just funny that he said that. No, this is how, but that's my, that's like literally my note. Big is now exhausted and won't fuck her. That's how I wrote it down. Because... Yeah. That's really what happens is so she's out. She's like run this line of like one. She wanted to start staying over. She wanted to start building her relationship. And then once it's now not hitting that like hot part and it's falling more into what it's like to be in a relationship. She's not as excited then either. It's like Carrie never knows what she really wants. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I guess I understand where she's coming from here. Where like, if he was just tired one night, it wouldn't be that big a deal. But she did just well, fart. <laughs> like I, I would be like, I understand, but this is only the first night. So at this point, she shouldn't be concerned. But then you do find out it's like three more times in a row, three nights in a row. Then they don't have sex. 
Right. Uh, so she says, by the middle of the next week, it was three times in a row, and I was beginning to worry. And then Miranda says, three times? Try three months. Uh, no. I don't yes. think that that's that bad either. Now would be a good time to wipe that horrified look off your face. And then Samantha says, I'm sorry, sweetie. And then Miranda, I just, I don't know. Where have I been? You've been having sex. I've been at Blockbuster renting videos. It's tragic. Blockbuster. No. Now, uh, that is the recurring, that's Miranda's recurring story this episode is that she likes to go to Blockbuster and she keeps getting cat called by these construction workers. And now I'll yeah. tell you, the one in the tank top who ends up being married and doing most of the cat calling, yeah, he, I, I would, yeah, yeah he, could, he could pound me down somewhere. I would totally be down for like a blue collar construction type sitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Miranda gets the most arbitrary storylines because they need to give her something. Like the uh, my favorite episode, Running with Scissors, which is where um, Natasha finally finds Carrie and then she breaks her teeth. And then uh -huh. um, Samantha gets an AIDS test. And then Miranda's storyline is that she keeps walking by like Blimpy and the sandwich that's standing outside keeps like hitting on her. Oh, yeah. And it's like, eat me. <laughs> eat me. Yeah. Eat me. I like the one where her whole obsession the whole episode is the chocolate cake. I love when she pours the dish detergent on it, though, because I was uh -huh. like, yes, yes, we've all done it. <laughs> But, you know, when she goes and goes to the bakery to buy the chocolate cake, I want to do that. I want to just go buy a fuck all, like, some cake and just... Now, here's a little blast from the past. One of Brad's birthdays, when, like, you and the three of us were, like, in our thruple days, basically. Uh -huh. You had bought... We... You and I, I think, went to Cold Stone... And bought a Reese's peanut butter ice cream cake okay. from Cold Stone. Okay. That must have been expensive. We must have it been was. rolling in it. I think it was pretty expensive. <laughs> like, yeah, or it I'm might have been. That it, I think it might have been really small. But that it was probably too really expensive. Small. It was probably like 25 oh, bucks and we're oh, like probably. counting out our change. Um, so we had that for some reason for the birthday, but you and I we're like really enjoying ourselves. I don't know what else happened around that evening, <laughs> okay. but the two, I remember the two of us literally being like, Oh my God, what about that fucking cake? We forgot about it. And then we're like, I don't remember this at all. And then we're like, Oh, that cake that, well, I mean, this was in the brick weed moment, <laughs> okay, the dishwater gotcha. brick weed days, yeah, like yeah. gravity bongs in the bathroom stitch. Yeah. And the Southern Comfort, and it was someone's, yeah. it was Brad's birthday, so I'm pretty sure we had probably gone out or whatever. You <laughs> right. know how that goes. Uh -huh. So then we're back at wherever we were. It was probably the 136, and we're I'm like, sure it was. oh my God, that cake, that fucking cake. And then we take it out of the freezer, and we're both standing just in the kitchen with forks, and we're like, oh my God. This cake, and we have just we, had we already cake. given it to, to Brad. <laughs> I can't remember. I actually think we might I not we, have. No, I kind of think really we had did. given it to him earlier, and then we're like, "Oh, we'll eat it later when we come back." Or something. <laughs> like you, yeah, and then or, we or forgot the about leftover. it. I feel and then like it was the, the leftover cake, and then we yeah. Okay, I do remember that this cake? <laughs> we kept just being like, "Oh my god, this cake!" And then for days afterwards, we were like texting, and we're like, "That cake, though." That cake. Oh my god, that, that, cake. that sounds exactly like us. Oh my god, I, I wonder. Sorry, what Linda. All like. right, that sounds good. It, Reese, it was. It was like it had peanut butter cups, like the Reese's peanut oh, butter that's, cups. That's definitely what I would have chosen. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> Wowie, gotcha. wow, wow, wow. <laughs> right. My fatness caught up with me. I got a little, like, I was salivating there, and it kind of, like, I choked on it. Anyway, it is Easter season, and um, strong in the Easter season are the Reese's, egg, like, Easter the eggs. eggs. Yeah. Now, this year, they have mini ones. Okay. That are, like, in a bag. They're, like, called mini unwrapped or something. Dude. No, I know you're on. I don't like you know chocolate. you're you're. Oh my god, you don't like you don't like any you don't like candy. <laughs> I don't like you don't sweet like things. Chocolate. I don't like you fries don't like, either. Oh yeah, 
any uh, form of potato really. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, I eat a lot. <laughs> uh, anyway, wow. Where were we? So they're at a. They go to a. They're at. Oh my god. We. I. I'm lost here. Actually, we're. They go on a nail appointment. Okay. Yeah. Um. And we hear a voiceover. So there are 1.3 million single men in New York. 1.8 single women. 1.8 million single women. And of these, more than three million people, about 12, think they're having enough sex. And then we do one of our favorite little cutaways to all these different people. And it says, how often is normal? I have to masturbate three times a day just to make it through. You do that, right, Amanda? Yeah. You I'm, wake not up. Not only do I masturbate, one out, I masturbate you, three times a day. You get it done. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> some people take coffee breaks. I take jerk off breaks. Can you imagine? I feel like a lot of people do that. They go to like the bathroom at work and jerk off, you think? Yeah, I'm sure that I've heard that yeah. on many of I listen to a lot of like straight guy comedian uh oh, podcasts. God. So like they talk They're like I pee I pee in bottles and like um <laughs> they talk about cum a lot on Doughboys. That's like probably their biggest topic on Doughboys, which is a food podcast. That's talk interesting. about cum. It's very funny though. My favorite podcast um, of all time. I don't think it's not really for me, but <laughs> Um, so let's see. They say the average 33 year old woman has sex three and a half times a week. I'd like to know who that woman is. My wife and I haven't had sex since the baby was born. The baby's applying to Yale next fall. That guy's definitely <laughs> cheating on his wife. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you haven't had sex in 20 years or 18 years, yeah, I feel like the woman should I think be you should just have then. you should just do that. Yeah. If you want to stay in a relationship to stay in your relationship, fine. But I, I get it. Like, especially like men. You, you know how I want to go about that? I'd want, if I were the wife, I'd be like, you can honestly have sex with whoever you want. Like whenever. Mm -hmm. Um, But I need to never, like, you need to be so good at hiding this that like, I never even get an inkling. Like you have to answer every text message. Like it needs to be. Yeah. Nothing neat can shift at all. You need, and if the second you fuck up once, then like it's over. But as long I'm as you hide sure it really well, then I don't even think he should come to you. I don't think then you would want to know at all. Because if someone told me That's they were doing it, but I don't want you to tell me that I'm gonna find no, 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 no. I, I, I know you too. There is no way that you would be like, oh yeah, just go have your fun as long as you don't tell me. And you would do some, yeah. I'm a lot different in relationships though than I was before though. I no, I don't do I won't even like look at a cell phone. Like I just I don't I am so cut off of all of that. I don't do crazy anymore. I don't care. That's not anymore. that's not being crazy. I don't well, well I'm just saying I don't I've I don't do that ever. That's why that's why my ex-boyfriend was uh, able to be married uh, and then not divorced and then divorced and then got remarried again during our relationship. He was married to two different women during the course of our relationship because I was, I were, I was like, Nope, Wait, not, I didn't... not gonna. <laughs> yeah. No, he I've did a lot of cool been... stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Good. I and mean, um, then we're introduced to Samantha's uh, story here and she meets this hot Yogi. And I will say he's one of so far, he might be the hottest guy they've shown on the show in yeah. my opinion so far um he's fine uh basically like they want to um you know who he reminds me of the guy in american beauty that like with yes. the camera that likes the bag mm -hmm. and he's in crossroads too isn't he i almost that's like on my next up list on netflix i was gonna watch it last night and i'm like no it's a gray's night isn't he in that gray's no yeah, no, no, no he, he is in, in crossroads, crossroads. Um, yeah, I don't know yeah. what his name is, but yeah, he's remember. the one that takes the road trip with them. Oh, I'm excited to watch that. So know. they have this whole, like this whole question about sex being a barometer for go what's going on in a relationship. Samantha believes that if you're not doing it, that like that's showing something about going what's going on. She says, no, honey, you're a woman and men don't like women to be human. We aren't supposed to fart, douche, use tampons, or have hair in places we shouldn't. I mean, hell, a guy once broke up with me because I missed a bikini wax. I also love the line where Carrie's like, well, on that one other thing, I farted. And Samantha's like, then move your mat away. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Samantha's really kind of the best. It, I know. The she funniest. Is. I will say though, Miranda, so Miranda, Miranda. That's my Miranda. 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 Yeah. You should um, really assume it just like that because he's also deaf. He's like, Miranda, what did you say, Miranda? But it kind of, they forget about it. And he has to act time. like an 80 year old man. Yeah, yeah, she's like getting finger idiot. banged in the kitchen by. Yeah, but then there's other scenes where like they're standing like in two separate rooms stuff. and they're talking at low levels and he can hear everything she's saying. Oh, okay. So <laughs> they kind of forget about the plot line. Um, where was I? We were at yoga. Okay, okay. So um, Samantha ends up going out with the yogi. All right. And that's when she finds out that he's sober. And um, he used to do three women in a day, but now he's gone back. And he says, and where I am now is so much better than sex. You think, think about really good foreplay. Your sexual energy is just starting to awaken. Now imagine a three year foreplay where all that sexual energy is coursing through your body, but it never gets released. It just recycles, builds rises until your entire being is humming with that electric sexual energy and i'm just like i don't want that that sounds annoying yeah like i don't want that (laughs) trust me there are times when i am like i'm like okay i gotta just get this uh, uh, like i gotta pump pump done to like so i can move on with my life i can't imagine being in like a constant a three-year limbo of like constantly being like, oh God, I want to come. Uh, I don't need to be distracted like that. Sometimes you just want to get it, you know, get the distraction out of the way and be done, right? Yeah. I think we need to restart our computers after this once we do, before we do the Patreon, because it's just, it, we're just going full of Lisa Lime. It's fine. This is the free one. Why is mine so perfect? I think maybe your internet, your internet isn't working. Yet. Maybe we'll do some speed tests after this. I think you should try a speed test. I think we both need to because last time this happened, it was actually your your problem. It actually <laughs> wasn't. Oh yeah. I had a little symbol here saying it was fucked up last time, and I don't have the symbol. Okay. okay. So then we go to dinner with Charlotte, and I thought this was actually like I'm going to commend the uh, the the television making here. They did a really interesting thing where they they Charlotte and Carrie enter, and they sit at this table like backs to the camera in like the diagonal of the table, if that makes sense. And the camera is here and it it films them from this interesting angle that I feel like usually you're getting the angle from the other direction. Like they would sit, they would sit here and the camera would be here, but here they sat like this and the camera like came up, came behind them. It's really interesting. I I don't know that stuff. I usually never notice stuff like that until I do. And then I'm always impressed. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's interesting. So um, what we're like, Charlotte's Charlotte's version of this is that she thinks that people put too much emphasis on the importance of sex. She doesn't think it's the most important thing in the relationship. And she says that she introduces this man that she's now been going out with for weeks. You know, I'd like to know what is the timeline here in these episodes because like last episode was charlotte not with someone else yeah so i guess weeks are going by between these episodes so but then if we're led to believe that that means that carrie and big have been carrying on their relationship what for another month between the last episode i guess we never really get a timeline on this i don't uh that doesn't make sense but Charlotte's always going into Charlotte always loves to introduce some guy that she's now been going out with for like a minute and they're really established. Mm-hmm. So they've been going out for weeks and we still haven't done it. I mean, we touch and cuddle, but he's sweet and he respects my boundaries. I like it. It makes it special. And then Kevin uh, comes in and guess what? Carrie already fucked the guy. Uh-huh. Uh, she's like, oh, fuck. Like, I already did this, dude. Like, so she does end up telling Charlotte, and Charlotte wants to ask some questions. She wants to know how long ago it was. Carrie's like, well, it was three years ago. Um, and, and Charlotte's like, okay, like, be real with me about, you know, how he's like. Because Carrie's being like, oh, yeah, no, he's great. He's also he's Carrie, really Carrie's nice. too, uh, and- Carrie's too scared to tell Charlotte, tell Charlotte about the fart. Oh, she hasn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, she. Yeah, she sorry, she, Linda. Like, I she, can't do it. she is afraid to tell Charlotte about the fart because yeah, she Charlotte does think Charlotte will it. be like. Yeah, but but she in, would, this, in the show, Charlotte is portrayed as way more 
kinky everything that oh, she, yeah. then her character is like because when they're having the like awful uh the rim job conversation um they're all like i would never do it i would never do it and charlotte's like you wouldn't because she and she's like well we're married so like charlotte like exactly. is giving trey rim jobs all, all over town well she won't she won't stay with this guy uh later because she wants to get pounded out i yeah, guess that's right yeah so we find out that um carrie was with him three years ago and she's like oh he's really great and charlotte's like be real with me and she's like actually he's a sex maniac and i'm like oh wow so you know when charlotte discovered okay so carrie says when charlotte discovered that kevin had tucked his libido away for her comfort level she was even more moved by his restraint um, so basically that got her really horny, like, cause she thought he was being really sweet and like trying to be different and changing for her. So she, she's like all up on him. She's like, you know, um, we're only going to have one, there'll only be one stop tonight for the cab. And it's like at her house, I guess, or at, yeah. I couldn't tell, was it his house or house oh, to God. get fucked? <laughs> I feel delusional. I don't know why I feel delusional, but I feel really weirdly delusional right now. So, um, okay. So then they're trying to get it all on. They're like kissing and like, he has really nice back muscles when they're like on here. And he's like, he just flops off of her. He's like, I don't think this is going to work. And he's like smiling kind of the whole time. And she's like, why is it me? And he's like, no, you're great. It, I'm just not that sexual of a guy. And, Carrie, and Charlotte, of course, knowing everything, she's like, it's me. I know it's me. She's like, look, Carrie told me that you were quite sexual. In fact, I believe she used the word maniac. And he's like, that was before. She's like, before what? Prozac. Yeah, I used to be such a mess. Mr. Mood Swing, it's a total lifesaver. And he's just kind of laughing about it. And he's like, he doesn't really care that his dick, he says... <laughs> His dick really is basically dick like taffy. <laughs> yeah. like, it's like a taffy pole. It's like, it's like Drake's dick when he was joking off. Oh. <laughs> it was just like... <laughs> no. I think the worst part after the whole Drake thing has been his like reaction after. Have you seen oh, any I of the even, things? I don't like, know anything about it's it. It's like him at his concert being like, oh, now you guys have seen my blah, 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 and whatever. And I'm yeah, but like, it wasn't impressive because it wasn't staying hard. I don't care how big it is if it's not gonna if it's gonna flop. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm just I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. Okay. Like that's kind of a, a trademark. Sometimes a when when it's a really big dick, they don't yeah. get like hard. That's why I almost would rather have someone who has like a mid slightly bigger than average now because mm -hmm. average is like five inches. I ain't yeah. rolling with all that, but no. I, like slightly bigger. Than... <laughs> no offense. <laughs> to anyone but wait, can i ask a question i'm not again? penis shaming but why do you yeah. care why do you care if you're usually top it just looks better oh okay gotcha not to be aesthetic no i get I, it I looks agree. i like when a penis is like proportionate to someone's right. body so maybe if you're like five foot something and it was I'm not penis shaming. Oh my god! Sorry, sorry, I, world. I, I know there are some shamed through my whole podcasting. There career. are some people who you know uh, take a, a great offense to that. I mean, it's usually people with small penises. Cut this. Well, Cut duh, this. I'm not cutting anything. <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> I'm done with oh it. My god, I'm being such a bitch. It, no, it's. That's I like a proportionate dick, and I would say right. that a Drake's doesn't need to be as big as it is, and because it's like too long. It didn't get hard. Yeah, I'd much rather a, an above way. average dick that gets hard <laughs> and shows me it wants it than like one where I'm like, are you, what's going on? Are Agreed. you feeling this? Or, and they're like, yeah, just, just anyway. <laughs> All righty. Keep it pushing. Uh, so Carrie's like in her house, like, oh my God, big. And well, oh, I farted in front of big. I'm all upset. <laughs> And then she sees her neighbors, which were really hot people, just fucking hardcore in in the window. Yeah. Now, do you have any ex, do you have any experience with exhibitionism being one or being a voyeur watching people? Uh, accidentally one time because I um, oh. I was dating this 
hot guy in mm-hmm. Brooklyn. And he had like these, um, he had these like kind of picture windows in his bedroom. And oh. anyway, <laughs> after like things were over, we like looked like out the window and there was like a lineup of like a bunch of like men just like, woo, yeah, get it. <laughs> We were like, (laughs) I've only been part of like planned (laughs) exhibitionism and voyeurism. You've participated in that? Like planned ones. Not ones where I'm just like in front of a, and like a group, a lineup of people end up watching me. No. I have a friend who like went to like Germany or something and she like Hmm. went to like this thing where like she, her and like her guy like went in on this table with like this huge like theater around them. And it mm-hmm. was like, I was they like, she like, was like, she was like exactly like me, just like a totally normal person. I was like, I honestly think I might do that. It sounds like fun. Uh like if no one ever found out about it. There's like I clubs never like that it. in in the United States. Yeah, there's probably like some it. in Calgary, honestly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. um maybe I'll look into it. I'll just getting fucked up. on a table. How You're gonna go from zero be? to that. <laughs> to just I'd me be walking. Like, Damn. Like, I'm just gonna. I'm just checking it out. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, try it. Uh, who Who are you gonna have yeah. fuck you I'm though? Gonna... On the table. I don't know. Someone will jump in. <laughs> Oh, you're you're down for that? Sure, I'd rather that than I don't need to like get to know them and shit. Some stranger? <laughs> sure. Okay. All right. Um, I love this idea for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope everyone knows how joking I am. <laughs> um. So Siddhartha is helping Samantha along her newfound path, and he's like, "This blocks our connection to our inner life and true identities." And she's like, you're hard. And he's like, I know. Our addictions and attachments are a way to block our spiritual hunger through unhealthy and dependent ways. You're still hard. She's, this was the scene that's really is, funny. It is really. Samantha, sorry, is like basically the best. Yeah. And that's going to be one of my ultimate fails of Anne just like that is that yeah. we don't have her. And that fucking terrible scene that I saw with Mario Cantone yeah. ain't making me feel too uh, promised. Promise things aren't feeling promising about comedy <sighs> happening in that. I love oh. the line after this though. She's like, "You're really hard," and he's like, "It'll go down." <laughs> and she's like, "So can I?" Yeah. She's in her ultimate dick piggery here. Yeah. She is like, she is so. She's like. You can tell she's like drooling. She's like biting her lips. She's like so, and it's like, girl, you could get some dick anywhere. Um, but they want to lead us to believe that like she only wants him. Or... I, well, I guess, yeah. You know, it is a typical thing. What you can't have, yeah. you want more, of course. So then we we slip to Carrie going to Big, and she's like, "Can I come over?" Uh, cause she gets this whole, I think it's cause she's watching the she's exhibition. She's watching the people right? and she gets horny. So yeah. she's getting horny. She's like, can I come over? She comes over to his house and he's watching a fight and she's crawling all over him. And she does a thing. She is thing so where... annoying in this scene. Like, it's like, you need to read the room, bitch. Like he did nothing. She's wrong. not very good at reading the room ever. He is says, she? he says like the first time, no, Carrie, I'm trying to watch the game. Exactly. But she, like he said no, Carrie. I do want to give a little preview of what's off screen here. Um is it a cat? Can you see? Oh. What is that? Aladdin? Oh, oh, it's a Barbie. <laughs> okay. Aladdin! The way the way you the way you came it came, you came in with it, it looked like it was like some kind of like carpet. It's on a magic carpet, baby. All right. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh my uh, god, I'm sorry. Okay, he's I'm in her ultimate dick that. piggery and he won't. So she's really feeling it. it. Uh, Carrie goes over to Biggs and he's watching this fight. He's crawling, she's crawling all over him, being really annoying. Where, yeah, like one, I'd be like, hey, what are you doing first? I also don't know that if I were him, I would be like, yeah, come on over. I'd be like, I'm watching a fight, maybe come over in a couple hours. So then she does this whole thing and he pushes her off of him, basically. 
And he's like, she ends up leaving. She's like whining the whole time, expecting him to follow her. He doesn't follow her. And then um, we we kind of get some wrap ups, kind no, not yeah, like wrap ups, it, but we get like little kinda. dip ins again. Samantha's like in bed, edging herself, like getting all worked up about it. Miranda goes, and this is when the the cat the guys cat call her. Um, uh, and she's like really into it. She does want to get fucked, which she, she's, she doesn't tell them yet. All right. Carrie decides she's going to paint her kitchen. And again, this was the most ill, this, this was my bothersome point. <laughs> this was egregious. Because Big hasn't called her in two days. So guess what? She's painting her kitchen. Uh, Miranda ends up coming over uh, to be the good friend that Miranda usually is letting it be all about Carrie and all about Carrie's fucking problems. And we have this scene repeated, I believe a couple times throughout the series. Um, Miranda's basically sick of this shit. She's sick of listening to Carrie fucking bitch about yeah. her farting. Cause Carrie, Carrie's like, I sh never should have farted. Like, I just shouldn't have farted. I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> and it's like, here, here's where I would look at it is if one little, if one fart is enough to ruin your relationship or change your yeah. relationship, like, probably find a different out. relationship. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think uh, that seems like a good idea. So, um, Samantha... Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, Carrie thinks Big needs her to be perfect. And Miranda has this... Miranda has a really pretty good scene. She's, like, actually acting here. She's still <laughs> in her softened up look era. I'm loving it. Which is going to be very sad in two... two weeks when I have to watch Miranda take her dive into shit. <laughs> yeah, into like sen senility. Stay tuned for and just like that, y'all. <laughs> um, uh, so, they all end up going over. She Okay. They end up seeing okay. Carrie? No. Miranda ends up telling Carrie the best advice really that there is to show Big the real her. Carrie kind of refuses just to be herself and, Car and Big does end up saying in the end, you know, I just, just be you, just, just show yeah. who you are, which, you know, that probably is the ultimate lesson in this is that, you know, pretending to be someone you're not thinking that one little moment or whatever, if, if that's yeah, what it she's takes. Like, she's like, you should see me around him. I like wear like little outfits, but like, I totally get that. Like you have like little, like together carry or like, I fun think carry. though, like, wouldn't you do that most of the like yeah, especially at the I, beginning I part of a outfits. relation but at the beginning of part of a relationship yeah. like i'm not rolling up to your house three dates in pooping and farting and wearing my ugliest <laughs> shit i'm trying yeah. to still look cute i'm still right. trying to do something um so then the neighbors start fucking and they call everyone over and they're all watching them fuck and uh and they have this conversation where they basically can't believe that Samantha would give it up. And it's pretty funny, the back and forth they have, where she's like, they're like, how long has it been? She's like, a hundred years. <laughs> and they're like, they're eating these gummy bears and, you know, she's getting herself more and more worked up, of course. And um, then we get our little kind of wrap ups of what happens. So Miranda has her moment again with the construction guys. And at this point, she's like, yeah, do you know what I want? I want to get Fuck. I mean, I didn't write down the exact words here, but I'm going to paraphrase. I want to get fucked. I want you to pound me down, jackhammer me into a wall, jizz all over me, leave yeah. me smeared and sp uh, splattered. Come on, baby. Ooh, smeared and splattered. Ooh. Yeah, I, don't know where you're going. Ew, I just like came a, up with that. That's like a waff <laughs> Waffle House. When you go to Waffle House, you get your hash browns like smothered, covered, and spattered. Yeah. Jizzed on. <laughs> um, Ooh, sure you know, if joke. someone ever leaves me smeared and splattered, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> anyway. I'm cold and I am chained. Lying the cold. <laughs> I feel like that's what that song's about, right? Like someone like jizzed all over you. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, but would you write, you'd lie, you'd continue just laying there <laughs> just like, like naked with gum on you and they leave. Yeah. Getting locked like, up. Instantly You're depressed. all alone. <laughs> Speaking of a reference later episode when Miranda Brit like twist Brit or like uh, oh my god y'all we're recording our Patreon thing after this and I can't even talk fine. now. Yeah, uh, I'm leaving that Miranda one. falls and like breaks something or whatever and then she's naked on the floor and Aiden like picks her up and does all that. <gasps> Such Great a episode. good episode. Yeah. Um. But anyway, so Miranda says I want to get spattered all over and the construction worker's like whoa lady i'm married she's like oh 
<laughs> but what a go bone. Which, <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of like, it is annoying. Yeah. Like, why are you doing all that? You think your Set wife would like that? Anyway. Yeah. Then Samantha goes to yoga and she's like talking. And she's this part's funny. She's horny as fuck. <laughs> It is really funny. Another great Samantha time in the episode. Yeah. She's like, uh, you know, she's like Siddhartha is there and whatever. And she's like, she's basically just done waiting. And she's like, looks over to one guy who looks a lot like the guy who's later in the episode where Miranda goes to Weight Watchers. I don't know that that oh, guy looks kind of No, I think I would have recognized him. I don't I think it is the him. same guy, but it looks very, it looks very similar. Um, and she's like, well, you can't. She if you're not watching our video. Yeah. She's like, "Wanna fuck?" Mouths it to the guy, and he's like, "Um, what is?" I don't remember he's, his reaction. The he's first like, guy just says no. He's like, yeah. "No." He like shoves her away, and then she looks over to just the other side to yeah. whoever the guy is, and she's like, "Wanna, wanna fuck?" And he's like, "Huh?" And she's like, she just sits up, and she's like, yeah. "Wanna fuck?" And he's like, <laughs> "Uh, yeah." And then I mean, he was kind of. I mean, I get it. Perfect. Then they spend the rest of the day like fucking, and then they do this like this shot of Siddhartha, the like yogi guy, yeah, like, on his face with like sweating. one drop of sweat <laughs> yeah. dripping down, like like he's trying to he's waiting. Um, I guess that's his like pre cum or whatever. Yeah. Then <laughs> he just he, the camera scrolls down and he's just rock hard, like hard. It's like a wet spot. <laughs> yeah. <apparently. laughs> So that would just be like in a Judd Apatow thing. Totally. <laughs> I love Speaking Judd Apatow. Well. <laughs> so then we get to Charlotte's resolution. Charlotte's really trying with this flaccid Prozac dick. She's like. Yeah, you can hear it. In her hand. It's like. <laughs> yeah. And then she basically is like, um, she wants him to stop basically taking Prozac. So they'll fuck. She's like, you won't even stop it for me. Come on, you wouldn't like stop doing Prozac for me? <laughs> and he's like, um, wouldn't you rather be a guy who's like kind and giving and like not that interested in sex than some unstable, oversexed prick who only wants to get laid? And weirdly, Charlotte's like, no, I'd rather have a prick, an oversexed prick, than right. some nice like guy. I can't imagine that a medical professional would um, agree with what Charlotte's asking because he should, if he's prescribed Prozac, he should probably be on Prozac. You'd uh, rather have a guy not on Prozac who's supposed to be on Prozac? I would say that the guy himself, the fact that he is totally fine having a uh, taffy dick. Yeah. That he'd rather be happy. I would be like, it, this reminds me a lot of when Sheena... Sheena Shay uh -huh. is trying to get her husband, her ex-husband uh -huh. Shay, to drink, Shay. even though he's like fully an alcoholic. She's yeah. like, okay, but like I don't want to be bit. sober. Like, can't you just go out and have like a couple drinks? Like the definition of an alcoholic. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it remind it reminded me a lot of that. So okay, so then we have like um our little moment. Big comes over. Carrie's finishing up painting her cabinets. And, it, and she and has she's that like, one arbitrary, like, smut. The one what, smudge. But of smudge. course. Yeah. But of course. On her face, on her cheek, a little white smudge. She does the typical Carrie thing where she's like, why didn't you call? And he's like, why didn't you call? Which is a good point. It's completely good <laughs> he's point. He's not wrong. He didn't do anything I love wrong that argument, officer. actually. Uh -huh. I'm always like that. If someone's like, you know, I don't, hear, you from, I don't hear from you. Oh, really? Um, it's a two-way street. Communication is a two-way street, right? Yeah. Well, in our in our case, it's like you actually like to pummel me at about with a train, and then I'm over here like with one of those little carts that like the old <laughs> miners would like pump <laughs> along the train tracks. Yes. That's our texting. Yeah. It, you like texting me five hundred times. I always feel so excited when I actually get a Joan text. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's hard sometimes. Well, Justine sent us the Vanderpump trailer today, both of us, and then she resent mm -hmm. it to me, and she's like, "I don't know why I sent it to that text." <laughs> and she's not text back. 
I tried to watch that and couldn't get it to fucking load. Yeah, I know. Me Instagram. too. I, I just went in and I searched it myself. Okay. That's I did too. On on, I did end up looking at it. I was, I was annoyed with that. Sorry, Justine. I did look at it. I just sometimes, you know, shit happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, wait. Hold on. He's big and carrier talking. And she's like, I, I would I... just close some of my things I have going on here. Maybe that's why I'm in. Anyway, yeah. so they're talking. Um, why didn't you call? Uh, and he's like, So, this is where you live. About time you invited me up. And she's like, I didn't invite you. And he's like, I know. And then they have this whole metaphor chat where basically Carrie's wanting to make her apartment perfect because that's kind of what she's thinking big wants. You know, I get this idea of like when something is out of your control, when something feels like it's like spiraling around you. Taking control of one part of it does feel helpful. Yeah. So I, I, um, and then, th then they have this thing where it's like, did you know there's a couple humping outside of your window? And she's like, really? I know. Oh, I never noticed. And then it's voiceover. And she says, all I could think was, why aren't we having sex? Is this normal? What's wrong? Where are we going? And then it cuts back to Big and he's like, oh, hell. We can do better than that. And, and then, then Carrie's back. like, and then he kissed me. And then he penetrated my vagina. <laughs> okay. And she's she ends with a another wise line. Now, I don't know why I remember the last lines of this being so much more like poetic. Good. Yeah, like, okay. Like this one is odd how normal sometimes can sometimes feel so uncomfortable. Right. Does it? Do you feel like weirded out? Like imagining like big, like just even sleeping in Carrie's apartment. He just like doesn't fit there. In I don't any think way. that he would sleep there. I think they fucked and then he left. <laughs> I do not believe he spent the yeah. night. But it's just maybe weird we'll find out next episode. Yeah. It like I just can't even imagine him in that apartment. Just him being in there doesn't like make any sense. It doesn't. And but. That's kind of what Carrie is getting at is that she feels like she's not what he would want or need. But then he does say, like, I just want you as you. Yeah. Right. Which it, that's a great lesson for all of us. Right. Now, uh, friends, we're going to do a slight. That's that. Thus that was, ends, that was the episode. Uh, the episode. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. So again, I'll say if you've enjoyed listening to us, sign up for our Patreon, please. Patreon.com slash pod in the city. Also, we're we I'm like just to end, blow my nose, keep talking. We're ending with our <laughs> we're ending with our uh, sexy stories. And so um please, if you have a sexy story to share with us, you can send it to our our uh, Gmail account. It's patcpod at gmail.com. There's a couple people that I saw. They said they were going to send them, and they have yet to send them. Get on it. Um, we do share them anonymously, and we are in no judgment zone. So, um, I'll yeah, post it on our Facebook yeah. group again. It'll be a nice change from all the Garrison posts. Also, if you guys are watching us on YouTube, please subscribe to us and click yeah. the uh, like button. We love you. Yeah. Um, now let's listen. I think we need to like we need to figure out some kind of like music to transition. Yeah, I know we this. should get a little intro. Hang on, there's yeah. like little there's like little random ones like down here we can use. Mm. Mm, let's see, feeding the ducks, daydreaming, dance pop, night driving, rock into let's space. Try, let's try this. Okay, I think you could just read it over this. Okay. This is kind of... Okay, well, let's... Lo I'll loop it then. Per oh, I like this. Okay. Hi, guys. This is I like this on the fly here. I'm turning you the music down a little bit, too. Okay. Hi, guys. You asked for stories, so here's one for you. When I was in college, a guy from my high school came to visit me for the weekend. He was someone I had a crush on for a long time, so I was looking forward to having him over. We went to the local bar and drinks were had. I'm talking multiple cocktails made with blue curacao. Vomit, oh, Lord. Which I agree. <laughs> but it always makes the drinks look fun. Um, we ended oh, up what? stumbling back to my house uh, that I share with six other people and having drunken sex. Whoa. Six other people, that's rough, girl. <clears throat> I guess I could blame the next part on the, on, on I almost said queefing. I queefed This on the music brain. is like making me feel it. Like, <laughs> I'm just know. like. 
I guess I could blame the next part on the drinking, but I also think he just didn't know what the hell he was doing. I have never been a big drinker, so I didn't have many memories of how the night went. Uh. The next morning, I woke up hungover and escorted him out of my home. When I got up out of bed, it hurt to walk. So when I got back to my room, I took a long or I took a look down there and realized what was causing the pain. My wow. labia was so fucking swollen on one side. It was like three I times about the this one. Yeah, 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 this is a good one. That, I didn't want to start with this one because <laughs> it was um it was uh it was so painful. Essentially, during sex, part of the lip was being beat up by almost getting in the way of the entry. I totally and I can picture what you're saying here. Do you know what like you're it, saying? It folded in kind of yeah, as it was kind of like, like shaped yeah. so like it was the penis was like doing this. Um but that what, would I, hurt. what I've come to find out is that vaginas like not all of them have that either. Like where well, it hangs they're all out kinda, like that or some of them are flappers, some of them are like really yeah. tight. It's like balls. Um Oh, so, yeah, so uh, in the way of entry, if you can imagine what I mean. And John, John probably wouldn't understand this at all. LOL. But he does. Well, yeah. You can pick pictures. Physics. I ended up being held up in bed all day with ice packs stuck between my legs. My girlfriends found this to be a hilarious story. And while I can laugh now, I was so embarrassed at the time. That was the moment um, I decided I never wanted to see that guy again. Well, obviously, I, I assume that would just be like a given. <laughs> Like the second like, that was over. Okay, but follow up. Was it? Do we think his dick was too big? He just didn't know what he was doing. She says she doesn't have much memory of it. Oh, got it. Which is probably why you didn't feel it. Yeah, because I would think too, if someone's like, if that were happening to me and someone's like pounding yeah, my but slap in. Chafing I would be you like, don't oh. feel until later because there would be like moisture okay. and stuff. So I, I yeah. understand how in the moment okay. you wouldn't it wouldn't hurt till later. Um I can laugh now. That was um that was the moment I decided I never wanted to see that guy again and proceeded to never return his calls or texts. Fuck me badly once, shame on you. I'll never let you fuck me again or see me for that matter. I love your stories in the pod. I hope this was semi what you were looking for in terms of story. Oh honey. It oh, honey, is. it's fabulous. <laughs> I'm going to turn off this song. We need to remember that. I'm going to rename that. Oh, shit, I just removed it. Fuck. <laughs> I'll find it again. It was called Night Driving. I know, but it was already preloaded in here. You know what? We're going to deal with that later. Let's wrap this up. Oh, we can actually. Okay. Uh, Jesus. All right, y'all. Um. Oh, I found it. Oh, I added great. it back, baby. Perfect. All right, y'all. Um, we already told you the stuff, so find us on Instagram, find us on, um, Patreon, find us on YouTube. Email us. Just support us. Email us if you love us, um, or if you hate us. Remember, reviews are forever, so... And what else is forever? Diamonds. No, that you have um, that weird thing that you say at the end. Oh, no, I got it here. Oh, okay, great. You know, you know what, Amanda? What? They actually say nothing lasts forever. Right, uh, dreams change, trends come and go, but friendships never go out of style. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Go back to the